Good morning, good morning. It's so dark outside, but hopefully we can persevere, just you and me. Don't worry, don't worry, I'll be with you all the way, and hopefully you'll keep me safe as well, because this is not a, this is a bad neighborhood, if I'm, all, if I'm honest. But, let's get into it. So, today we are going to talk a little bit about Go versus Java. Oh yes, how can I even think of making such a comparison? I know, right? But I will, because I think that these languages are, in their own way, pretty amazing. Now, let's start off by saying what I like, or what I really like about both of these languages, because I am one of those people who, like, I, I think that every programming language has something it does a little bit better than most other languages. And say, t let's take Java, for example. I think the thing that Java does better than any other language is to provide a compiled workhorse language that basically you can throw it at anything. There is very few, pr it's, I would al almost no problem that Java can't solve for you. It is the heavyweight champion language of utility, robustness and diversity. No question about it. And C Sharp is, you know, it's up there as well. I don't. I still think, in my honest opinion, that Java is a little bit like it's just one peg over that. And I might be biased because I am a Java guy, not much of a C Sharp guy. But I'm learning. I'm learning. Anywho, so that's the biggest thing I think Java brings to the t to the table. It has this amazing legacy. It has a massive community. It has like. You can probably learn Java just from Googling or going to Stack Overflow, like different problems that you encounter as you go along. And then we have Go on the other hand, which is a fairly young language. And it's, uh, it doesn't have that massive super community with like a ton of different tutorials. So it's a little bit trickier to start with Go and like, get you know get up to speed with you know how everything works channels and and the syntax and so forth and it also has a little bit of like uh, compilation overhead you need to have some environment environment variable set and so forth you have to have that in java as well so it's not an exclusive thing but go is the only system level language that i truly love Rust is up there. Rust. I'm not not dismissing Rust in any way, but right now Go is the thing that I'm excited about, and I'm excited about Go because it has a syntax and a structure to. Let's take the HTTP API. Let's just start with that. It's amazing that they. Th I, I I love that they put HTML rendering and HTTP support routing and all that stuff in the native APIs or the native library. It's, Go actually has that built into it. How amazing is that? Like the other system lang level languages doesn't, you know, they weren't designed to really do that type of thing. So Go is a system level language with the performance of a si system level language, but it's also providing you with very, in my opinion, very reasonable defaults. Like having, you know, today making a web server, I think is pretty much the standard. It's pretty much what, you know, what most of us do. And if you can do that in a system level language with that type of performance, and it's actually optimized to be able to provide you with that stuff, uh, all the better. I love that, that, that idea. And something I really, really, really like about Go, apart from that, is that it has this, and this is because I come from Node. I will tell you right now, I am pretty sure that if I were to start a completely fresh project today and I needed for some reason, I, let's say that I needed a type system or something of that manner, like I, I could tell that this is not just going to be one of those cases where I throw a node at the problem. I need something a little bit more. I would go with Go. And the sp that is mainly because it has two things. It compiles down to a single binary and that is sexy. That is just sexy. Oof. If code could be seductive, that is seductive code. And the second thing is that it has a syntax 
and an interface for its HTTP layer, or the routing layer, that is so close to Express.js in Nodeland that I think I've, I've, the, the first thing I felt when I saw this was like, this is basically Express. I feel the same way. I feel comfortable here. I know how this works. And it's such, and I think, honestly, I think Express has the nicest routing system in programming I've ever seen. Like, it's the same thing with, like, I don't th I think JavaScript has the nicest HTTP, like, fetch is probably the nicest API for fetching data or like doing HTTP calls and so forth. But on to it. So these are the two things that I really, really enjoy about Java and Go. And to answer the question, when do you pick one over the other? It's a, in this case, it's, it might be a little bit tricky because Java has this legacy where people will tell you that, hey, Java is not performant, Java is so slow, la da la da la da la da la da and you've, I've heard it since I was in school, everybody tells me that. Yet somehow, there are always people who come up with benchmarks that show prove the opposite, that Java is actually much more performant. And one article that I wrote a long, uh, no, I didn't write it, I read, sorry, I read an article a long time ago, which I think was, made a very nice point, where you have C++ programmers who, you know, talk about performance and they talk about, you know, not being able to access the hardware and do these tiny optimization tweaks that the JVM abstracts away from you. And he said basically this, and I love it. He said that the Java, the JVM internally, and I actually checked this out. I did actually, I went further than just learning Java. I actually went into how the JVM works. I'm not an expert, but the JVM does a lot of code optimization internally. And this, J, this, this piece of technology is written by people that are among the smartest people in the world. And he, this is what his words. And he said, and the thought that you are just in your everyday, like your little hobby project, going to figure out a way of outdoing that performance with a few lines of code, it's, it's, it's a little bit arrogant. And I actually agree. I, don't th I think that the prejudice against Java's slowness has more to do with how long it takes to like rebuild a web server. I, because honestly, restarting a web server and like doing front-end work, HTML and CSS and so forth, without something like JRebel or like an asynchronous uh, you know, recompilation is very slow. Like working with just vanilla Tomcat and so forth, I think takes a long, long time if you compare that to something like, you know, Webpack's hot module reloading or something where it's like instantly and that's once again it's a compiled language so hey what are you going to do but comparing these two now the two main th th reasons i think you should have with you for you know when you compare these two languages is that they both do something that's very sexy java java put, puts everything in a single jar file and Go puts everything in a single binary file. And having that portability makes these two languages extremely strong case. They're both compiled down to a single entity, which makes it very pluggable, very modular. And they also have this great, you know, you know, there's type languages. So you have the typing system. So between the two, the obvious choice is to say, hey, you should go with Go if you need performance because it's going to be more performant than Java. I don't have those numbers. I don't know if that's actually true. So maybe it is true. So that's one reason. Maybe Go is more performant. I don't know. But apart from that, I would say that Go is a really good choice if you have the need to have slightly more portability than Java. Let's say that you want to make a microservice or you want to make something like... Uh, a, so, you know, you need a single binary that's going to compile down on each machine and you have, you, you don't want to make a, just a standard enterprise web server or something of that nature because Java isn't really, I, actually, I was actually very disappointed when I first started doing Java because when I was a beginner I thought that yeah, I could just make, you know, how it works in, in my world in Windows where you, you just had a single file, an exe file and it just started the whole thing and I didn't have it, need to have any dependencies. What essence, what I wanted in, emotionally was a binary file. But Java doesn't do that, and well, you can, but it's not in the way that I wanted it to work. So if you're making like a desktop application, something like that, I think Go would be your first choice. Today, Go is a really strong choice for making desktop applications. If you are making, if you'd have the need, however, for 
finding developers easy, you're building an enterprise, something really large case, especially if you're integrating towards really b big co companies, Java is the stronger choice. And it's not because it's a better language necessarily, it's because it's a very trusted language. It's the enterprise most uh, enterprise world's one of, if not the most trusted language in the world. But Go, I argue, makes me happy. <laughs> That's not even an argument, that's how I feel about it. It makes me happy and I'm very excited about that technology. So th that's probably the best comparison I can give you right now because they can be, they, these two languages are very, very, they're both very powerful. Java is bigger, has more stuff. Go is, and that's a good thing sometimes and it's a bad thing other times. And Go compiles down to a single binary file. I think those are the two strongest arguments for these two languages. Hopefully this was useful to you.